Hey YouTubers, this video is going to be about Muskelong State Park and to tell you where it is, we'll use the big blue beautiful marble. If we draw down in, it is in Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula. It's on the shores of Lake Superior. I wouldn't say it's in the middle of nowhere, but you can see nowhere from there. It's kind of between Tequamanon Falls in the east and Grand Marais to the west. This is a smaller lake and as you can see just barely inland from beautiful Lake Superior. So I'm going to mainly show you the campground and a little bit of the local area but again you can see just how close it is to Lake Superior. Which is kind of cool because in the summer swimming was much better here. And that is a close up of the campground area from this whole Google Earth view you can even see the campground. And as we draw on out that road heading west will be in my next video. It's basically a dirt road that will run all the way to Grand Marais and then going further west to Munising. Going through Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, which is in a stunning drive and again is going to be in the next video, but let's get back to me talking about this video. As we pull on out, we're going to show you the campground and area of Muscalon State Park. Hope you enjoy. All right, within about four miles, I did notice there's a bunch of other state parks up here. State campgrounds, it looks like. Headquarters Lake. Could be headquarters and a lake, or it could be a lake named headquarters. But there's all kinds of Deer Park Grand Marais. That's good to know. This is the point where I should apologize for the two little bug guts stains on the windshield. You know, when you're using a tiny little GoPro camera lens, you don't always see it. And I didn't know the bug stuff was there. So this turn off that we're about to take will get you to a parking lot where you can go out to Lake Superior. But I have to admit, we didn't stop. It was getting late in the day and we needed to get back on this road because we had lots and lots to see. So here we go to the campground area. Long State Park, that's the campground. All right, we're gonna check out the state park. Did he wave Hi there. Us? Hi. Hey, how can I help you? Oh, we're just driving through. We got the. The okay, sticker up in the, the front. Campground here. Yep, yep. Are you looking to camp or what We're are you looking to do? We have campers in Munising okay. and we wanted to look around and see before we drove out here with them. Okay, when are you thinking of coming? Next couple days, maybe. We're full tomorrow. Are you full tomorrow? Yeah, Sunday a little bit of opening and then we'll be we'll have openings. Monday and so on Monday. Monday it kinda of opens up. Okay. On uh Thursday we shut all the water stuff gets shut down. Okay. The dump station, the bathroom, showers. Okay. No, none of that. Okay. We'll all go to modern or semi-modern. Sure, sure. Okay. Stuff here. Okay. Oh, awesome. Sites there. Yep. Fantastic. Right, thanks. thanks. Carry on. Yep. <laughs> this loop is sites one through fifty-one, and I know when a lot of people do reviews of campgrounds, they kind of just take a few pictures. I tend to try to show you as much as, a, as I can because I know when I'm researching a place I've never been, I like to have as much info as I can. Which brings me to, this has very limited to no cell service and there's no internet here, as we were told. But, you know, that's why we're here, to get away from that. It's a big campground. What's, what's the highest number of site you see? Um. 159. So even though it's tucked away, it is a large campground. A lot of campers. And it's got told that it's full the next couple days. And then not long after that, they start turning off all the water. It's pretty though. This video was taken on the 9th of October 2020 and as the guy said when we were coming in things were getting ready to get shut down so um, this obviously is not going to help you in the year 2020 <laughs> but if you're looking at this for coming up maybe in 2021 or later 
then maybe this will be a little bit helpful. You always got to keep in mind when you get up north, a lot of places don't stay open most of the season. And going to keep going to show you more because, as you heard, there's 159 campsites, so there's a lot to see. Dump station. More sites. I'm probably going to end up not showing you the whole thing. I'm going to show you as much as I can because, again, that's the problem I have. I kind of overdo it sometimes. <laughs> I like to be thorough. We'll call it thorough. All right, what you're going to get is basically the first loop and the last loop. There's 160. I can't give them all to you because I'm going to drive back pictured rocks. And I got to save some space. These are nice. They look like electric only, but there's water nearby. I saw faucets. A lot more trees here. Look yeah, very tree. -y. Very one, woodsy. The other one was so bare. Yeah. I didn't like the other one as much as I like this. Yeah, this is better. It seems more private with all of being in the woods more than wide open spaces. If you got to have your satellite TV, you go to that one. If you like life, you go to this one. Sometimes I like both. This is a nice campground. I would stay here. I'd come up here. It was a possibility, but went for free. Sorry. I'm going to go check out the boat launch. Right? Parking down at the boat ramp because I think you deserve, and there's no point in going to a place that has a lake and not seeing it. So I got to share it with you. I would assume from the little bits of signs I read that it's a decent lake for fishing. I'd say this is like a medium sized lake and Lake Superior is just on the other side of that. There's a lot of lakes that are just have a small little strip of land between them and Lake Superior. This is one of those, like Muscalon. Actually Lake Superior is behind me in this. As I warned you, thought I wasn't going to show you the whole campground, but I can't help myself. I'm going to do another loop of one of the bigger sections for you that is not as woodsy as that last section we did. But close, but not ugh. Just a little close. Look at that little old school. Almost like an old teardrop off on the right there, that little bitty. Far too many campgrounds you go to are really crammed in there like sardines. This one isn't perfect, but it's doable. It's not too crowded. You got some lakefront sites right here. It's a nice little campground. If I get back this way, I could stay here. I'm not just saying that. I would stay here and there's a good chance I might make it back up here and actually stay here. A couple pull throughs here. I guess though, if you've seen what I reacted to positively, I like the sites that are in the wooded area better, more private. This loop is in the numbers in the 50, 52 through 80, we're gonna do that little loop. So again, there's 160 sites here. Wide open ones, ones in the woods. I think it's a campground that I would visit. Michigan State Park so they're all pretty nice and they got a bathhouse showers and all that good stuff typical Michigan showers in that center section there where you get an individual shower bay I think if you're looking for a state park that's off the beaten track and more of a destination this might be it a little beach for the kids kids of all ages Come on, who doesn't like to swim? You don't want to wait till you're that old to go camping. You gotta have a damn handicap ramp to get in. I give this place two rather enthusiastic thumbs up. Hope it was helpful. This is a very pretty campground. Muskalong, I think that's right. State Park, 
you're west of Taquamanan Falls State Park and east of Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. I will show you where you are on a map. But I'm going to say for this part of it, have a great and wonderful day. I'm now going to drive through Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore in the next video.